Hi, my name is Julia and welcome to today's video. I will be a freshman at James Madison University this fall, so I thought it would be a good idea to share with you guys what I'm getting from my dorm as far as organization and really decorations go. Just to give you a rundown of how I'm hopefully going to like decorate my dorm, I am kind of aiming for like burnt oranges, mustard yellows, that's kind of, and tans and white. Also some fake plants because I can't take care of real plants, so it's those like really warm tones and then just like that pop of like cool tones with the green. In my dorm that I'll be staying at, I am automatically provided with a desk, a desk chair, a bed, a dresser, and a closet. I think that's pretty standard for most schools. Everything that I'm showing you in this haul is relative to all of that stuff that I know that I'll already have and won't have to buy. For the products that I can find the links for still, I will try to put as many of those in the description as I can so you guys can easily find them if you want to get the exact same thing that I picked up. I just want to interrupt here and say real quick that throughout this entire video I throw in a lot of like advice and tips for living in a dorm and I know that I am an incoming college freshman so I clearly have not experienced any of college myself but I do have a sister who is going to be a senior in college so a lot of these things that I'm mentioning are from her experiences and what she's suggested to me even though it sounds like I'm just saying all of these things there is some foundation for them just to clear up any confusion now we can actually get into the haul and everything. I'm gonna start off with home goods. I have like two, actually no, three huge bags from there. So I'm just gonna rattle through everything. There's so much stuff. I got this fake plant. It's got like a nice kind of Aztec design here with gold and it's white. So it definitely fits the theme of the room really well. I also got some I also got some picture frames from Home Goods. I got three. This like gold simple one. I also have this white one just white wood and it's got kind of like a gold sheen to it and then just this square wooden one which is really basic but still really cute oh my gosh Oof. i also got this other little fake succulent super super cute for kitchenware and stuff i got just one mug this one has flowers on it and it's so cute the inside is blue which i love blue other kitchenware stuff that i got was just a single bowl i have one plate the key to all like the mug the bowl the plate is making sure that they are able to be microwaved not so much dishwasher safe because i don't think many freshmen really anybody living in a dorm have access to a dishwasher but definitely a microwave is important another little decoration thing that i got from home goods was like is this a paperweight i guess i don't know but it just says busy bee on it and i just thought it was super cute these ooh hanging vines. I didn't get a headboard for my bed, so I'm hoping to hang these vines right behind my bed so it can kind of give the illusion of a headboard. Also from Home Goods, I got some of my linens. I just got two shower towels. They're just gray, super soft. Having two is a good idea because obviously you're not going to do laundry that often, so you don't want to have to just depend on one towel. I also picked up just a broom and dustpan. I know some people get little hard floor vacuums, but my roommate and I were just sticking with the old fashioned and again, blue. I have two more bags of stuff from Home Goods. Here is my one pillow. It's pretty massive. It's just a square pillow and it's got some texture here. It's actually like really comfortable and really soft. Another pillow that I got was this longer one and this has like a rust burnt orange kind of color on it. Also really comfortable. I think a really good size too. Staying with the bed theme, I got this throw blanket. Yellow on it again right here and some grayish tan and then it's got tassels right there. Super cute. It's not the softest but it definitely gives off the aesthetic that I like. I got this. This is really heavy. I love this rug. It's got like, what? what is this material called? Wicker. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. It's got like wicker right here and it's tan, white, and it's got some tassels on the end too. It's also kind of like light brown, like wood color that we're going for. So I think this rug really ties it in well. Most forms just at any school have like tile or just like some sort of hard cold floor. I would definitely recommend a rug if you know that your dorm has a floor that's gonna be pretty cool. Now I'm gonna quickly run 
gone through what I got from Walmart. I didn't really pick up much. They didn't have a great supply of like decorations or anything, but I did get like a couple organization things. First, I just picked up one fork, one knife, and a spoon, which I know are super exciting. I would obviously recommend getting like metal ones and not plastic, so you're not just throwing stuff away all the time. Just one of each should be good. You might not use these all the time, but they're definitely gonna be good to have if you get like DoorDash to your dorm or something. This is gonna look weird because it's like two pieces, but this is actually a dish drying rack and this is the extendable part of it. Why I have this is because in the JMU dorm that I will be staying in, the closet is pretty tall and it's got, you know, the hanging space and then a top shelf, but that top shelf is really tall enough to make two shelves. So I'm going to use this kitchen gadget as a second shelf. Even though this is like a really random thing to pick up, it can be really useful with trying to just fit as much stuff in one room as possible. And moving on now to what I ordered from Amazon. Not gonna lie, Amazon was kind of like the place to be. I found a lot of great little things there. I picked up a 300 strand of white Christmas lights. I'm hoping to put these around the entirety of my dorm. Some dresser dividers. I'm a neat freak, so I really would go crazy without these. This is what they look like, little wall thing here and then it just extends out to divide up your drawers. So I think these will be super, super helpful. Pick up three sets of these because I'm planning to make my bed tall enough to fit my dresser underneath to really open up the space. In order to do that and raise my bed that high, I need three bed risers per leg. So that's why I have so many. I just got black ones. If you feel like your dorm's gonna be really cramped, I would definitely recommend trying to raise your bed, put stuff underneath it. It's definitely a great way to open up the space. I got a shower caddy. This is really just a basic necessity for college. It's got a bunch of pockets, a really big center pocket. I got a really long 10 foot phone charger because I'm gonna be raising my bed, so I'm not really gonna be close to an outlet ground wise. As you saw, I did pick up a rug for my dorm. That thing would slip all along that tile floor that's in my dorm. In order to like not break my face on that, I have some rug grips and these you just stick to the corners of the rug. I don't know if you can see in the picture. And then these are the bins that I got to go under my kitchen rack that'll be in my closet. They are just super thin little clear bins from Amazon that came in a four pack. I think you can also get them in like white, black, that kind of thing, but I just went for a clear so I can easily see what's in each bin. And the last thing I picked up from Amazon was a storage ottoman. Basically, since I will be raising my bed up a good bit, I can't just like jump on my bed. I'm gonna need a little bit of help. That's what this is gonna be for. It can help me get up onto my bed, but also I can store stuff inside it. Anyways, the final store that I went to was Target. This lamp base, as I mentioned, I was trying to really integrate light wood tones into my dorm and I have a white lampshade that I'm just gonna put on top of it. Similarly to the shower towels, I also got two just dish towels. I also got two sets of sheets. I'm not sure what the brand is for these. I think they're just like the Room Essentials brand. I got these like mustard yellow striped ones. I think these are so cute. They go with the theme of my room so well. I also have these like gray cheese to print but again two sets just because you're not going to want to do laundry all the time along with the whole bedding theme i got my comforter this is from the opal house brand and you can kind of see it in this picture right here it's primarily white but then it has some like little fringy diagonal things on it i like that it has texture another blanket this is just like one of the chunky knit blankets it's a nice tan color it's super soft i've wanted one of these blankets for so long i know it's not like the typical really chunky knit wool blankets that are like super soft those though were like 200 dollars. also from target i got another fake plant this one is just basic white jar cup base, I guess. I don't know. This is a mattress cover. More people than you can probably count have slept on the same mattress that you're staying on, so covering it is probably a good idea. Command hooks. These are the little mini clear ones that I might be using to hang up my lights, and then these are just the pretty standard size command hooks, and then of course just the command strips to hang all of that. I feel like just utilizing your wall space, closet doors. I'm planning to use these on my closet doors to hang up my jewelry organizer and also my bags on one and then I also picked up some like little desk organizers. This is a little four pack of square cups and then this is a three pack of pencil and pen length 
little containers. A laundry hamper is definitely super important as well. I know that there's a bunch of different ones you can get. This is just a pop-up hamper, so super easy to store. It looks like this when it's unfolded. The last thing that I purchased for my dorm is this new essential oil diffuser. This one is from the Opal House brand, and it's got this cute little pattern. It's a little bit of an off-white, like ivory color, so again, fitting with the whole theme. This is super cute. I'm really excited to use this in my dorm as well. There's a bunch of stuff that I will be reusing for my siblings that I didn't have to purchase myself, but I think they're definitely super important. Things that you're not going to want to forget when you go off to live in a dorm. One of them is a mattress pad. This is definitely optional, but it'll for sure make your bed in a dorm a lot more comfortable. So if you can, bringing a mattress pad I think is definitely a good idea. Also a desk hutch. I know my desk hutch is from my sister and it's just a white one. It's off of Facebook Marketplace, so definitely super affordable. And again, it's not a necessity, but it's definitely a good idea to really utilize as much storage as you can. This next one is just a set of plastic drawers. Maybe if your dresser that the school gives you isn't big enough for all of the clothes that you want to put into it, you can get just a plastic set of these drawers and fit even more clothes in there. This is more, I feel like, for aesthetic than anything else, but a bed skirt. If you're like me and want to stay super organized and clean, a bed skirt is a really good thing to just hide the mess that might be under your bed, especially if you raise it. You might want to get a little shelving unit slash nightstand kind of thing. Mine, I'm pretty sure, is just from Target. It's just got three little shelves that, again, has more storage and is tall enough for how high I'll be raising my bed. The next one is just a power strip to have either near your desk, near your bed, so that you don't really have to be limited to the amount of outlets that the room has in it. Another thing would be a body length mirror. I did not purchase this. My roommate actually grabbed this for us. We're just getting a cheap body length mirror from either Walmart or Target. It's just great to have, especially if you don't have like any other mirror besides what's in the bathroom because the bathroom might get crowded every now and then. Last and final ones are some shower shoes. I'm just using a pair of old rubber flip-flops as my shower shoes. You can get probably legit shower shoes if you want to. You may end up using them if the showers in your dorm aren't the best or you might not need them. Those are really the main things that I didn't buy, but I will definitely for sure be bringing to school with me. All right, so that is everything that I have to share with you for what I bought for my dorm. I do really want to make my dorm a cozy living space considering freshman year, you know, you're moving out of your house really for the first time ever. If you're similar to me, hopefully this helped you out. And even if you want to do things a little bit differently, hopefully the organization stuff helped you gather a list in your head of what you need to pick up to be ready to start dorm life. If you liked it, definitely subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I hope to see you in another one of my videos. So I will hopefully see you soon.